Welcome to Techzilla Bytes, feeding your tech hunger fast. I'm Shannon Morse, and folks, XP is dead! Well, almost. Microsoft Windows XP is no longer going to be supported as of April 8th, and I can't stress enough how important it will be to move off of this platform. Not only will businesses no longer receive tech support, but they will also be completely open to any new security vulnerabilities, because the operating system will no longer be updated with service packs. The bad guys of the world are going to have tons of fun finding all the Windows XP computers out there. So we need to upgrade, right? Well, the first thing you should probably consider is, can my current hardware support a newer operating system? If not, it may be time to upgrade to some newer hardware. You don't need to go all cray cray with a $2,000 gaming rig or a sleek ultrabook if you don't really need it, you just need a desktop replacement. A couple hundred dollars will not only buy you new hardware, but they're also pre-installed with newer operating systems. Now, Windows 8 or Windows 7? Many businesses will want to stick with Windows platforms, mainly for software use case scenarios. Windows 8 is a very pretty interface once you get used to it, but it can also be extremely frustrating for users who simply want to open a PDF file next to a browser without having to deal with tiles. It drives me nuts. Windows 7 is still supported, and it will be for a long time, so we're good there. It's similar in the look and feel as XP, but it is much safer and it is serviceable. Now perhaps you want to move to Mac OS. Macs can be tricky to get used to if moving from a Microsoft environment, but they are good options if you have the cash to pony up. Apple as a company has really great support and service and is a good choice for home users just looking for simplicity. Well, maybe it's time to move to Linux. Linux operating systems are inexpensive, <laughs> and by inexpensive I mean free. Using Linux is easy, it's not as cumbersome as Windows 8, and much of the operating system is similar to XP, such as browsing, start menus, file explorers, and such. One downfall of Linux, though, is most of the Windows software that you've grown used to using will need to be replaced by Linux alternatives. I would suggest having a geek on hand just in case you run into any kind of hiccups. Once set up, though, Linux distros are a breeze. Some of my favorites include Linux Mint, Puppy Linux, Ubuntu, if you don't mind their odd business decisions sometimes, and Lubuntu. Now some other options that you might want to consider would be moving to a tablet interface like iOS or Android or a Chromebook. Both of these are easy to use and offer quick to learn interfaces, but they may be missing some key software applications needed for your business or day-to-day -day use. Whether you're a home user or a business user, there is an answer for you. And if you see others still using Windows XP, just remember to educate them. Really, it's important. Also, why not use lynda.com for some painless education on all of those operating systems? They offer 77,000 video tutorials for everything from motion graphics to web design, even Java. For $25 per month, you get unlimited access to video courses and you can start wherever you want at your own pace. So try lynda.com free for seven days by visiting lynda.com slash techzilla and get the skills you need to get ahead. For more from Techzilla, hit up youtube.com slash techzilla or techzilla.com and share what you think below or tweet at Techzilla. Thanks for watching.